There are approximately 3 billion people living in our world today who survive on less than 2 US dollars a day. And as a result of this, we have a cycle of malnutrition, especially amongst our young children. At present, there are about 160 million children under the age of five who are malnourished in our world. And these are children who are mostly living in developing parts of the world, in Asia, in Africa, um, parts of Latin America. And this cycle of malnutrition is what I'd like to, to go through today. So malnutrition, one of, the, one of the biggest concerns that we have when we have a child who's experiencing malnutrition is the fact that that child's immune system is going to be compromised. And that means that that child is going to be less likely to be able to fight off diseases. So a compromised immune system is going to lead to an increase in both the duration and the number of diseases that that child experiences growing up. Another thing that malnutrition does is that it inhibits or it slows down both the growth, the physical growth of a child, so that's increases in weight, height, and head circumference, and then also, it also inhibits or slows down the development of the child. And when we're talking about development, we're talking about maturation of the child, and development can occur either with or without physical growth. So an example of development without physical growth would be learning how to speak or learning how to walk. And an example of development with physical growth would be, for example, pubertal development or development around the time of puberty. So all of these things, delays in growth, delays in development, and an increase in the number and the severity of diseases experienced by the child, all of these things are going to lead to an overall decrease in the lifetime productivity of that child. That child is less likely to be a highly functioning member of the society in which that child lives because of the fact that they're small, that they're unable or less able to learn effectively, um, and also that they're often ill. So what's going to happen then? Obviously, children grow up, and what happens then when you have widespread malnutrition is that this decreased productivity becomes a characteristic of all of the children who are becoming the adults within a society. And that's going to lead to sort of a decrease in the country's, oh, sorry, in the country's development. And decrease in country, I'll just write countrywide development. Well, the first sort of side effect or symptom of that is going to be widespread poverty. We're going to have a lot, you're going to see a lot of poverty. And of course, one of the sequelae or the follow-ons of widespread poverty is, of course, malnutrition in children. And so you can see that this is a self-perpetuating cycle. We have malnutrition in many children around the world leading to delayed growth or, or st stunted restricted growth and restricted development, decreases in the child's ability to, to battle disease, leading to increased illness, all of these things contributing to decreased productivity of the child, and that is going to lead to decreased productivity of the country, widespread poverty, and again, malnutrition.